This fish pie just melts in your mouth. It's so creamy and delicious. The cheesy topping acts as a biscuit and the crumble provides texture and really balances out the creamy sauce. Anyone can make it. It's just that simple. Firstly, using a medium sized pot, set your burner to a medium heat because we are first going to melt 50 grams of butter. Once the butter has melted, turn your burner to a lower heat, then add 50 grams of flour and stir quickly. You're aiming for a smooth and thick paste at this point. Then add 450 ml of hot milk all at once. And now we're going to whisk quickly because you are trying to smooth out any lumps from the paste. As you can see here, I whisk the sauce until it thickened up nicely. Next add 3 tablespoons of mayonnaise and 2 teaspoons of Dijon mustard because we're just balancing out and adding flavour. If you see the sauce drying out, turn your burner down a little lower and add a bit of milk. Then keep whisking to make sure it's all combined. Then finally for your sauce, add 800 grams of cubed fish all at once. And here I'm using 400 grams of salmon and 400 grams of bass fish. And of course, please go ahead and use any fish you like. You can even use prawns. Next, add three tablespoons of lemon juice, or if you have fresh lemons, you will need the juice of half a lemon and 50 grams of grated cheddar cheese or if you have other cheese it's fine we're just building flavor once again once all the fish has been added then add a heaped tablespoon of chives a heaped tablespoon of dill and a teaspoon of garlic then continue to stir the sauce until the fish changes color if you're using salmon, it will change from the intense color to a lighter color. And if you're using whitefish, it will turn from opaque to a more solid or dense white. It took me about two minutes of stirring. Remember, we're also going to bake this in the oven, so don't feel nervous about whether the fish is undercooked. If you just stir it for two minutes on a medium to low heat, you'll be fine. Finally, then spoon all of the fish sauce into an oven-proof dish. If you're new to my channel, welcome! Making these videos for you guys takes quite a bit of effort. So if you appreciate this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so I can continue bringing you great recipes. Before I post a new video, I make sure the meal is tasty and the recipe is hopefully easy to follow. Also, I post new recipes every week, so do be sure to hit that notification bell. Okay, time to set your oven to 177 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit or gas mark 4 if you're in the UK. Do head over to your countertop now and next we are going to prepare the crumble topping. To a bowl, Add 200 grams of breadcrumbs, 50 grams of porridge oats, 50 grams of cheddar cheese or any tasty cheese you have. Then add a teaspoon of crushed garlic, one tablespoon of chives, one tablespoon of dill and 100 grams of melted butter. Combine all of the ingredients until there aren't any obvious lumps in the mixture. I found it better to do this by hand because when I used a spoon, I couldn't tell if there was any lumps. So um, when the crumble has been fully combined, spoon it on top of the fishy sauce and then spread it evenly. Then add a layer of grated cheese and I used about 100 grams um, to get my cheesy layer. And then adding this step will give you um, kind of like a cheese cracker or a biscuit component to your fish pie but if you don't want that you can most certainly leave it out 
this crumble will still come out amazing. Bake your fish pie for 25 minutes until it's golden brown and bubbling at the edges. Do take note, I've got some french fries in the oven as well, which would be a great complement to this fish pie. I'm preparing a salad as well, and that's just made up of some lettuce, avocado, carrots, and um, I drizzled some Caesar salad on top. Isn't that a beautiful meal? I do hope you enjoyed this video and you get to make this wonderful meal. I wish you a happy, safe and peaceful day. See ya!